Hello, today we are making a low sodium sourdough bread. You start out with two cups of starter. I, I actually measure it at 16 ounces, it makes it more accurate. And then you add two cups of warm water, or 16 ounces, uh, about 100 to 105 degrees. Altogether, it should weigh two pounds when you're done. And this will give you the right uh, water content or fluid content for the bread. Then you're going to be adding the yeast, salt, and the olive oil. I add the olive oil to extend the shelf life. Yeah, stir them all together. At least I do. <laughs> That will make sure that your yeast is hydrated uh, in preparation for adding the flour. Now actually you can either add the flour that we're showing in here on the video or I like to use some whole wheat flour. Uh, to add some healthiness to it or flavor. Two cups of whole wheat flour will give you a nice uh, fine uh, mellow taste. Three cups will give you kind of a rustic bread. Uh, important thing about the flour I've discovered over the years is you'll see me shaking it up. You want to shake it so it loosens up the mixture of flour or it gets too thick and your uh, mixture will come off and you'll have too much flour in it and it'll be, it's really hard to add water to it. All right. So I put it on speed two uh, to start because if I like to run it on speed four, things come together better. But if you start out at four, it throws the flour out all over the countertop. So as soon as everything gets kind of moistened, uh, kick it up to speed four. And uh, that will make things come together quicker. Uh, you'll see that it pulls down from the sides, all forms a really nice dough ball. I usually go by sight on when to stop using the dough hook and it, if you'll notice here it's kind of hard to tell but you'll see that it's actually tearing um, down whenever you look at the uh, where the bread loaf where the bread is uh, or you can just do about between five and seven minutes but uh, the tearing is the best part for me to tell now you'll notice the bowl has been coated with some spray oil uh, the dough, if you if it's done correctly, it'll be kind of tacky like this, kind of sticky. You kind of really want to have uh, the correct moisture, about 60%, so you get the good crumb, the internal structure of your bread. Form it into a nice ball. And then I will spray a very thin coat of the spray oil over the top to keep it from getting a skin, which will uh, cause it to not rise as it should. Put it someplace warm. It takes usually about an hour to double in size. Ah, the dough is doubled in size or volume. Um, the rest of this is just showing you how to pop down the dough or beat it down actually to get rid of some excess air. I like to be gentle with it like this. Uh, the flour is to help keep from sticking to the countertop. I like to work the dough a little bit, kind of make it a little more tender. I use a pastry knife, but you can use whatever you want. You can even just twist it in half if you want to. I've done that before when my pastry knife was hiding. Form it into two loaves. I do use the uh, crockery type cake pans, I've, or pardon me, uh, bread pans. I find they work the best and most, consi most consistent and give me the best looking crust. As you can see, I've used them a lot. Again, I'm gonna spray a little thin film of the oil over the top to keep it from forming a skin. And at this time, this would be the time to slice your slices into it. And the reason for the slices is to help relieve steam as it's baking for that final flash rise. 
Now you have to make sure, well you don't have to, but it's really recommended that you get your slices deep enough uh, to allow a lot of the steam out. And uh, I can tell you right now that the one on the left I did not get cut uh, deep enough. Now I'm using a serrated knife, but they also have uh, a nice razor tool that you can buy at your local bread store or you know a place wherever you get your kitchen implements, and they work really well. You can get some uh, more control, and you can have some nice carving or whatever you want on top of your loaf of bread to make it yours. Now I let it rise, as you see, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I let it rise 30 to 45 minutes until it looks like that. Pop it into the 400 degree oven in the center rack. Now I'm making sandwich bread, so I don't want a really crusty bread. But if you're trying to make it a crusty bread, go ahead and throw some water in your oven at that time, either with a mist bottle uh, or standing water. Uh, uh, as I show you there, I cook it about 30 minutes. A uh, nice trick is you can check the internal temperature, make sure it's over 195 and that way you know your bread's done. And you'll notice uh, what I was talking about with the slices on the top. One of these loaves split right down the side. You can see it right there on the left. And if you've got a large enough slices in the top, you get the traditional loaf shape like this one. All right, well, thank you guys for watching the video. I right, hopefully see you next time.